Well, it's a trend taking off all across the United States, but current laws in the city of Atlanta do not allow for tiny houses. Well, now one Atlanta council member is hoping to change that. Yeah, Councilman Kwanzaa Hall, who's running for mayor, introduced legislation that he hopes will place hundreds of these micro homes across the city. And Fox Eyes' Natalie Pozo is here now with more on the effort. Well, Rustin A., Councilman Hall says he's been working on this for about two years and believes tiny houses would give people lots of options, including affordable housing. And then some parts of Home Park neighborhood. Atlanta Councilman Kwanzaa Hall says he wants to see tiny houses around the city. Right now, Atlanta is not zoned for the micro homes that are usually 750 square feet or less, but with legislation he introduced, our five parcels zoned right now for duplexes would allow for tiny homes in areas Hall says are desirable but expensive. It's really about diversifying our housing choice. We want to make sure that we have a range of options, um, not just high-end units, not extremely low-end units, but everything in between. Councilman Hall says it's about affordable living, but for some homeowners, there are concerns that tiny houses could bring property value down. Hall says he's working with the about 20 neighborhoods that would fall under the new zoning. It's the right thing to do is to allow neighborhoods to, to understand what a legislative change of this magnitude that has citywide impact um, can have on their lives. Downsizing minimalism, Will Johnson is the executive living. director of Tiny House Atlanta. According to his research, tiny houses are of interest to a range of people, from millennials to retirees. Johnson says long term, his organization would like to see bigger development of these small homes in complexes around Metro Atlanta. Building pocket neighborhoods of micro communities or incorporating micro developments within larger developments. Hall says he hopes this is just the beginning for tiny houses in the city. It can be one of the catalysts for a neighborhood renaissance um, where we can take our legacy neighborhoods and move them forward in a non-displacement strategy. And Councilman Hall says once they finish presenting the plans to the neighborhoods, it will go back to the zoning committee and be up for vote in May. Sine? All right, keep us posted, Natalie.